We've been building a knowledge engine called Medicine for about 32 years, and we've been sort of waiting until it could be put in the cloud, which we did about five years ago. But then the challenge was, how do you have a dirt simple interface, user interface, very powerful, that physicians can use at the point of care on virtually any device? We know that the most powerful computer in the exam room is actually in the physician's brain. Give them the information they want, when they want it, without them having to ask for it. That was our goal. Our ER doctors are not very technically savvy, and the ease of use of this product is going to make it much easier for them to adopt it and bring it to the bedside sooner. It seems like it's got a lot of good usability, and that's going to be key for you know adoption. It's really cool. Um, it's the way documentation should be. I mean, it's intuitive for the people that are used to kind of web-based, finger-based type stuff. Um, you can tell it's developed by someone who examines patients, so it's well done. Well, Medicom's new Quip was amazing. It was so easy to use. I really liked how intuitive it was that I had my choice uh, for positives of single clicking and negatives of double clicking. And I'm about to spend the next 15 minutes with you guys showing you the next generation of uh, documentation tools that we're providing. We'll go ahead and load the multi-system favorite. You can see how this will be relevant and useful, especially when you're dealing with like a multi-problem patient and you can see which items are for one problem, which items for another problem, what are the items that intersect with each other. What I'll do is I will drag my upper respiratory into my workspace and again that will load all of the items corresponding to my upper respiratory template into my workspace. And probably acute sinusitis is what we're dealing with right now. So single tap on that, enter a few items for therapy such as Medicine. Uh, I loved what I saw today. Um, I thought it was really interesting how I think that there's clinical decision support involved and so I thought that was great that it was all uh, automatic charting. So. Uh, I think you guys have designed a pretty nice uh, user interface, for, particularly for the tablet platform. There's actually two of our launch partners that are showing this in their booths. Um, Med3000 yeah, well, we, we is over on that side and Pulse Systems is actually showing a speech enabled version of the same thing uh, in their booths. I am amazed about it. I really think it's wonderful, and I can't wait to actually use it. The Quip interface is so intuitive uh, and so easy to learn. You know, the gesture, it's very useful, and I think doctors will find it very productive. We're giving away 11 every hour. So we got tons of more of these to give away. All you got, got to do is be back here. Medicon booth 2231. Hugh Nguyen, MD. John Varga. Is John Varga here? Oh, and Everett. Dr. Kevin Dorsey Tyler. If you were at the His Talk reception last night and you got one of those little cards that said you're a winner and it's got an iPad on it, you can come right in here. The last winner for an iPad here on the show floor at Medicom Systems Booth 2231 is Chris Bailey. I've used uh, uh, medicine for 11 years since it was first deployed in the military health system. Uh, and, you know, this is leaps and bounds uh, improvements. Oh, well, the iPad just enhanced the, uh, you know, I think the ease of use, being able to use your finger to just kind of sway through. And I really like using Quip to uh, enter the entire h &P without having to type with a keyboard. I'm really impressed with the training. I think it's great that you've got two people that are interacting, uh, going back and forth. The fact that there's a live demo with real software running at the same time is very helpful. So I was very pleased with it combination with the intelligence that's underneath medicine. I'm familiar with the product from pre previous iterations and this is light years ahead. This is where it really needs to be, I think. Quip is so easy. I didn't need my child to show me how to use it. It was probably the neatest thing I saw at HIMSS. <laughs> so I thought the training was great. I think that uh, providing an actual interface where we can uh, chart on uh, a patient was fantastic. Watching somebody do something is only so good, but actually being able to do it ourselves made it a lot easier to understand how to actually use the product.